This is how to make Armin's Colossal Titan from Attack on Titan in a one-to-one -one scale here in Minecraft. This is going to be quite the tutorial, so if you plan on following along, you best be prepared uh, for a lot of tricky, tricky building coming up. This design is based on one that was originally created by the uh, amazing Attack on Titan Minecraft YouTuber Nav9 and I have gone over and completely changed it to be in my style to my liking and this is what we've got here. I'm going to show you how to make this block by block throughout four separate parts and we're going to start with the feet going all the way up and part one is going to be mostly the feet up to about here. Part two is going to be uh, about up to this point part three is going to be the rest of the body and part four is going to be all of the steam I know from my previous colossal titan video not a lot of people liked the steam so I've decided to kind of make it optional if you want to build this block by block exactly as I have it right here then go ahead and watch part four if not you can get all of the body done with part one two and three you are currently watching part one and to get to the other parts you can use the links in the description to move on to those unless you are watching this somewhat recently in terms of when the video is uploaded otherwise when you want to move on to the next part you can click that link if you're curious this is what the design looks like without any of the steam so if you just want the body this is what it will look like also something if you've watched uh, some of my other previous tutorials you'll know I like to use invisible item frames for things like the eyes so I will be using that in this tutorial but if you don't have them then you can either ignore them or do some of the suggestions that I mentioned later on when we get to that part also there are some banners which are pretty difficult to make but I will show you how to do that uh, both with the uh, words that it says like it kind of tells you what designs to use right there and also I will do that on camera in part three I would also like to mention that this was made before season four part three uh, which I'm assuming the arm and colossal will have the full back shown so there is no official look at what the back is but I'm assuming it's a design similar to this uh, but when part three of season four eventually does come out i will update this build uh for the world download whatever that may look like all right i think that's all i got to say for the intro and now let's move on to building this thing if you are looking to build this in survival this is everything you would need uh, both of these chests contain all the items for the entire thing uh, so don't worry this is not just part one this is for the entire project and of course uh, you can probably guess that the glass here and the cobwebs are for the steam so if you don't want to do that then you could ignore all this and also if you don't have access to invisible item frames then you can ignore these and also the eyes which are weight music discs uh, if you don't want to put the eyes in then you can ignore these as well and lastly I have torches because the inside is going to be hollow so that means it's also going to be dark when there's no openings uh, so I have some torches to light it up so things don't spawn in there uh, torches aren't part of the design they're just to, to light it up inside so you don't need to worry about that and then also you can see I've got a lot of banners here I'm going to hover over each one so you can read the design that's on it because uh, if you look up some uh, Google image with what each design translates to, you know, like red base, that's when you have whatever color you pick uh, fills in the bottom. That's what that means. And then uh, you can just look up what each one means. Like white chief, that's just the, the top part. It's the opposite of base. And so you can recreate these banners just by looking at that, but I will also do it on camera in part three because it might be hard to 
try to make it just from reading. Alright, some additional information about the build. It is 60 blocks tall, which is to scale. Uh, I'm going to make the banners with this in part 3. This is everything you would need to make all of them. 10 red banners, 2 white banners, and then this die. And then also in part 3 I'll use this to get the invisible item frames. Alright, now let's get started with the feet. And it looks a bit strange right now because this one looks way bigger than the other foot. And that is because uh, the left foot is sort of half lifting off the ground. So even though they're the same size, you can't really tell right now. Alright, mostly dark colors, darker reds on the bottom. And then to kind of show toes, I've got these trapdoors. Alright, other foot now. I'm using a mod called Lightmatica to uh, copy a design that I had already made in a different world. Uh, so it's easier for me to pick up the blocks with the middle mouse button and then just place them without having to look around in the inventory. But if you're making this either in creative or survival, you'll have to sort through a bunch of items every time you want to place a block because uh, that's just that's just how it is next layer up fence right there and some varying reds and these rails can be tricky, so I'm going to hold off on them for now. And I'll place a torch in here just to match what I had before. But like I said, the inside is not going to be seen, so, you know, it doesn't really matter. You could also fill it in with just junk blocks if you're doing this in creative and you don't want the opening. Or in survival, I mean, and you don't want the uh, inside to be hollow. All right, there's that done. And now these rails, to get them like this, they're gonna be flat at first, but you have to place another rail up there in order to get it slanted and then you can just break it and it'll stay like that. Uh, but rails can be tricky. If I place something right here, it'll get messed up. Uh, so a lot of the time it just takes some messing around with to get like that. That one just got messed up, but if I just break them and then replace it, it'll be all fine. So as long as you just copy what I'm doing, it should be fine. But if the rails do get kind of messed up, you can replace these trapdoors with like blocks and place rails or go like this to make them extend more and then get rid of them when you're done. All right next layer some more of these lighter colors for the back of the feet some more rails and these are activator rails uh, because they have a bit a bit of red in them compared to the normal ones rails like that going up and I think that should be it uh, for the rails maybe there's one more on that foot but the hard part with the rails is done now white terracotta on the back here and a trapdoor Give it a little bit of depth. There we go. That's pretty much the feet done. 
And now they're going to connect to the legs now. what that looks like it's more varying red red colors which is going to be uh, pretty much the same throughout the entire design uh, it seems kind of random up close, but uh, there was thought put into uh, what shades of red go where. Alright, that's that layer done. If you see that number that pops up, uh, sort of in the lower middle of the screen, once that gets to negative 23, that is going to be the last layer I'm doing for part 1. Just in case you were curious about that. Got the lighter colors going around. Another torch on the inside. stuff fence right there and there trapdoor and then also trapdoor right here take a look around that if I am moving a bit too fast this block doesn't actually need to be here uh, but I'll just I'll just keep it. If you think I'm moving too fast or building too fast, uh, you can just slow down the video and probably turn off the audio because it might be messed up. But if I was to do this at the pace of, you know, doing this without. Uh, any mods, I think uh, I would have to have like eight, nine, or ten parts. So, yeah, I'm just gonna not do that. And it's a video, you can rewind and all that. That is actually supposed to be red terracotta. You know what, I'm actually going to get rid of that block uh, just because it's something you don't actually need. All right, moving up. go to the back you can see uh, actually not quite yet but you'll start to see a pattern with the uh, the lighter colors which kind of run up the back of the leg which I don't think is anywhere officially uh, in art that is of the Armin Colossal but the other Colossal Titans do have that so I've just assumed that it would be there.
and now we've got pretty much the same sort of deal going up for the legs, so there's not much to say. That is that layer all done. Taking a quick look around. Trap door right here. Just closed. Fences on the back. I don't have fences on this, the back of this, because it already sort of looks like uh, this back is protruding out a bit, so there's no need to have fences to make it look extra thick. Whoops, whoops, I just messed up a whole bunch. That's what it's supposed to look like. I'll go way back now and fly around. You can see what I was talking about with the feet. This one's sort of lifting off and this one is flat on the ground. at the knees which are going to have a lot more lighter colors like the white terracotta but it will also have some darker reds in the back to kind of uh, look like the back of the knee uh, to give it some shape even though it's still a flat block but it is darker so it gives the illusion of being indented a bit I'll place a torch there to light it up Red nether brick stairs, which are upside down, right there. And also, right side up right here, forgot to mention that. Do 
push right there. layer there's about six more until uh, I'm gonna stop with part one granite stairs which are one block out from the others this is like the knee right here in case you're wondering where we're at I don't actually think this block needs to be here. That's one that I might have missed when trying to hollow out the entire inside. go now you can see some more it's more of the leg taking shape And right here, I almost almost missed it. Uh, normally, you would have to, you know, kind of bridge over here. But I can just do slash up one to get a block right there. While I was filming this, I forgot to consider that uh, most people are not going to have the Lightmatica model saved to know exactly where to put this. So in relation to this white terracotta block right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then one, two, on the third. That is where that brick slab should go. This is a top slab, yeah, top slab brick. And that is going to be a fingertip. But right now it just kind of looks really random, just floating there. Put some another wart right there and then another slab. Torch right there. Now we've got the other hand starting to show up.
I'm just trying to make sure I didn't miss anything, but we're good. Oh, um, I should have mentioned this earlier, but this block, uh, let's say from this block right here, you would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then one, and on the second, it would be right there. Uh, I gotta think, most people are not going to have any idea how long this is. <laughs> so, in accordance to that, that's how many blocks would need to be placed. And if you're ever unsure of where exactly, just leave a comment and I can reply with how many blocks. For right here, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. And then get rid of all those. And some more stuff for that hand. There's that leg. You can kind of see the the hand starting to show. This is the index. This is the thumb. And this one I honestly can't tell right now. Alright, this is all I'm going to do for part one, and now if you want to keep on building this, uh, you can go and watch part two right now, unless it's not uploaded yet, but uh, if you're watching this the day it releases, it will be out in two days. Alright, I'll see you in part two now.